Hey fellas, uh, as you can see I've been quite busy and managed to fill up my enclosure with a few more chips. Um, I've been working on two parts for a helicopter project that I have in the works at the moment. It's given me a really good opportunity to uh, immerse myself in SolidWorks HSM Express uh, CAM software which is uh, pretty, pretty intuitive and it's got cool things like adaptive um, roughing uh, which is basically a tricoidal milling type toolpath. Um, it's featured in eye machining as well. John Grismo did it in one of his videos recently, and it's it's freaking awesome. It um, it avoids jamming up the tool and basically just eats away at the material like that. It avoids it jamming up, gives a little bit of space for the chips to clear, and it also avoids jamming in the corners as well. Supposedly, it's 40% faster um, at roughing. So. Yeah, it was actually really nice to watch. And I'll do some shots of this, which is what I made with that. Um, also made like a little mount for a GPS on a tail boom as well, so pretty happy with how they came out. But I had to, I guess if I could do it again, I probably would have done it with a 10 millimeter end mill or designed it for a 10 millimeter end mill. I used a six millimeter and I had to have it out quite far, like about 35 millimeters to uh, get into some spots in this deep part, especially. And because it, the stick out was so far, it wasn't as rigid as it could have been, so I've got some deflection marks, but you know, all in all, pretty happy with sort of my first real parts. The machine's running good. Um, did break one tool, <laughs> and uh, all it was was one of my six millimeter roughing end mills. Just got jammed up in a deep slot, and the chips couldn't escape, and I guess it just clotted up, and anyway. Um, yeah, I've got some shots of the machining process, so I hope you guys enjoy.